All right, what's up, everybody? This is David, David of Alpha Job, and we have today. Chi Chi. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we got Chi Chi on the line. All right, so basically, what we're going to be doing is reviewing her campaigns. Uh, she's been getting results, but we're trying to get these leads to convert, meaning actually pay. So the thing about the party bus niche is sometimes, and this is why I always tell you guys to do your offensive marketing and your defensive marketing, meaning your organic traffic and your paid traffic, because paid traffic is more difficult to convert because they're thinking like, well, you came to me, so you better have it for free, you know? <laughs> so, you know, the, you have to, your, your irresistible offer have to be positioned properly and you just, just, it has to be like a stake dangling in front of a dog, okay? All right, so we're gonna go over some ways to get these conversions for the leads that she has. So right now I want her to just go ahead and show you guys uh, the ad that she's used and how many leads come in and bookings came in and another thing about it is with the party bus niche A lot of people like to pay closer to their actually actual birthday if they're uh, coming in for the birthday ad You know, so that's another thing that could be a little downer for you guys, but you know, hey, you know <laughs> Another ad that you can run is the anniversary ad. All right, so if you need the anniversary ad Then you can you can get that from me as well. So the anniversary ad that's one that people will pay pretty much way way faster uh than the birthday ad all right so we can do the birthday ad and we can do the anniversary ad all right so go ahead and show okay so go ahead and let us know what happened like how fast did you start seeing um results okay um so i started in let me see i started on january the 23rd and um i started seeing results the same day and i didn't start like Early in the morning, I started like in the, late in the evening, afternoon. So people started messaging me, and um, they pretty much was asking questions. And even though I had the autoresponder set up, they still wanted to know the availability. They wanted to know what's all included on the bus. And to be perfectly honest, I didn't know what amenities were on there. So what I did was I started logging to questions they were asking so I can create a FAQ. Smart. Um, but people were, they were pretty much asking about their birthday, when they can book, um, how far in advance, um, are there any refreshments, can we bring our own drink, where all do you go? I mean, one, one person asked me about going to South Carolina and picking them up. Well, some of my partners, they will go out there, but of course they don't have to pay a little premium for that. So that one requires a custom invoice. So that part is manual, but um, a lot of the, a lot of the um, feedback I've been getting is pretty repetitive. Everybody asking the same thing, how much um, and all that. So um, pretty much I've, I've gotten a whole lot of conversations going and I got a lot of messages and everything um and I'm pretty much learning as I go I didn't know a whole lot about this when I got started so I just kept watching videos and then putting into action the steps so um that's pretty much it all right and you got the leads are 80 cent per lead yes okay that's awesome that's awesome uh do you mind showing us your ad real quick sure all right, let me see that targeting real quick. Okay. Targeting. Okay, yeah. So I'm, you know, I put 24 to age 16, okay. and I just labeled some of the cities that's nearby. But of course, people um, of the friends who are in this target area, they live outside of these areas. Yeah. You know, so they were still contacting. Um, and the strange thing was, I was really you know surprised about you know they were they were wanting my phone number to call and i'm like well we're not giving out our number if you're calling you're calling to place an order exactly. um you know or handle any emergency problems exactly. um but then even those aren't even answered by us you know you would i would direct them to you know the i, I call it the department okay. but they don't know that they're getting transferred over to the actual partner so okay. um but yeah, hold on, hold on. so you're transferring, the them, you're transferring them to the partner. I mean, if they needed to, but no, um, unless yeah. they've already paid you. Exactly. Yeah, I didn't even know he's calling partner. yourself or she's calling herself your partner. They will take all of that. <laughs> all right. So okay, you know. So but one thing I want to point out, what you said, real was real smart, and I like how you think. You think real analytical. All right. Hey, mm -hmm. when I first started doing this, I told y'all I wanted it to be automated like total autopilot where they don't have to ask anything so one thing you said is the questions were real repetitive right mm -hmm. you yep. can 
created FAQ section. Do, do you have the chat box set up? I have the chat box set up, yes. Okay. So and you can put that FAQ section inside the chat box. That's what you want. You want it, oh. you, like you said, what you say? You said that um, when you send them over to fill out the form or whatever, they don't really want to get off of Facebook and, and all of that extra thing. So the goal is for mm -hmm. wherever they opt in, the whole point in doing a, a, a messenger ad instead of a, a, you know, a to the landing page type ad is because we want to keep them on the site. That's why your cost per result is... Oh. All right. And that's why a lot of them are not converting because they're like, uh, I'll do it later. I'm looking at my news feed and somebody get their ass kicked for it. You see? So that, that's, that's that's how they're thinking right now. So I'm just being honest with you. People get on social yeah. media. And I'm dummies. I'm just being real. Okay. So that's why I always say organic traffic wins overall, even if it's a little bit slower. I'd rather have somebody search me out than uh, jump in mm -hmm. front of somebody. Okay. So. All right, so basically, you want to keep them inside that chat box. You want to answer everything inside that chat box. Then you have to put your foot down. All of those people talking about they want to get on the phone and all of that, mm -hmm. that's why I create the packages how I create the packages, where it has a certain prices, because all they're trying to do is negotiate. We don't negotiate with terrorists. No, I'm just playing. Exactly. <laughs> we don't negotiate. These exactly. are the packages. I made it the irresistible offer, and that's, that's just what you're going to get. So what I need to ask you is, what is your irresistible offer? My irresistible offer is the free vacation, mm -hmm. the um, the um, ten percent off future bookings, mm -hmm. and um, the restaurant card. Now, I did have someone try to dismiss the idea of the free vacation thing. They're like, "Well, I don't need the vacation." Okay, and well, I said, "You were right." Mm -hmm. That's them. All right. So what you want to do right. is always market the vacation as what the occasion is that you're targeting. Because if you just throw it out there all willy-nilly, they really don't believe it. And secondly, they feel like, okay, what that got to do with my birthday? Okay, so I always market it, like whether I'm doing mm -hmm. it for real estate. If it was real estate, I call it a, a seller's vacation, you know, uh, to celebrate that they're selling their house finally. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, get out of town because I know it's been stressful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with yeah. the birthday, you know, they want to go all off for their birthday. And I bring up how viral their Instagram photos and videos are going to go for their birthday and blah, blah, blah. They go on a vacation. Like, who doesn't want to do it big like that? But if you just say, hey, you can get a vacation, a lot of companies are doing that. You see what I'm saying? So you want to tie it into yeah. that'll make it convert. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes you need sense. to keep them inside that sequence. You need to keep them inside the, uh, the, the, the Facebook Messenger. Don't send them anywhere unless it's opening up the PayPal where they're going to pay it. Don't get on the phone with nobody because you already have. You should have your packages already. You already got your packages laid out, right? Yep, all there of that's laid out. There's no point. There's no point of getting on the damn phone. Like, you know. And you know what? It was only two people that asked me for the phone number. So everybody else was like, you know, this is cool. You know, exactly. they might have wanted to know extras, but they didn't really care about talking to me, which was great. Yeah. <laughs> it yes. was just those two. And guess what? Once yeah. you put in, once you put in that FAQ, then they're not. They're, then they're it's going to convert better. They're not going to have all those questions either. You see what I'm saying? So yes. it's, it's just treat your. Yes. Uh, the best way to make chatbot sequences work is to treat the chatbot as if it's a website. So try to guess what they want to see. What would make people convert on a website? All right. They want to see your your bold claim, irresistible offer, depending on what you're uh, depending on what you're selling, uh, some kind of proof mm -hmm. or testimonial, um, a breakdown of why and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The same thing you would put on a website, you put inside the chat box, then they have no need to go to a website. You see what I'm saying? That makes total sense. Yeah. Because oh, man. Thing, like, like, yeah, they have <laughs> questions, where, which is why people always say, well, can I get on the phone or can I go to your site? Because they don't believe that you have all the answers inside the chat. But if you keep taking notes of these questions and you just have it in there, you're like, you're like a, a psychic to them. They're like, oh, shit, well, everything's answered so you know so <laughs> then they can yeah. just make move you know so um let me see so i would integrate that faq on here or on the page no 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 no. on your chat bot did you set up your chat bot and build around yeah I okay yeah, yeah 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 so, so, um let me see let me and then I have to coach them, you know, hey, keep clicking, you know, buttons and stuff so you can open up what's coming in yeah. um but you know, it, it's fine. Sometimes they ask stuff outside of it. That's why I have to go through each and every one of them. Yeah, just take um, notes of that. And then don't you see where it says uh, where they can click need more info or I'm excited and ready and all of that? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so you can just add more. Exactly, you can just mm -hmm. add more right there, like for the uh, for the FAQ, like you know, hey, I'm still not convinced yet, and then you can put like an explanation because a lot of them want to know why you would give away free vacation or why you're doing so much instead of just people aren't used to being spoiled. You see what I'm saying? So it makes them a little skeptical. Mm -hmm. So yes, that that will work. If they're asking those questions, go ahead and put it in there and just stand firm on it. Don't start switching things up. Don't start making it a job. You don't need to get on the phone with nobody. Just take notes of what what has been getting you close, what has been getting you the closest to conversions, and then just modify that. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, uh, one thing I wanted to say, all right, where are you at on your GMB? Oh, my God. So this is a long story. I'm in one place um, in the city, like, during the week, and I'm sure that GMB card is there at the house. So... I'm I'm not at the house to pick it up, so okay. um, I I wasn't sure if um, Google will send it to an apartment, so I had it going to the house. Right. I'll be going to the house um, this weekend, or actually tomorrow. Cool. Well, I gotta run, but before I go, I want to impress this upon you. Would you rather deal with a company if you're ready to reach out to them, or if they reach out to you? Mm, if they reach out to me, or I reach okay, out. Okay, let me make it better. I rather, I rather, would you rather be I'd cold rather, called? Would you rather be cold called, or would you rather go into the store? You said. I want to go to the store. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is my point with organic traffic. So I give you guys the Facebook ads in tandem. All right, because a lot of us are like, oh man, if I don't see fast results, I'm gonna quit. So I give you those in tandem, not as an all-in-one solution, like the only thing to do. I'm not gonna teach you what everybody else teaches, <laughs> which is just paid traffic. No. You're dying if you yeah. only believe in, pay, in, in paid traffic, especially just Facebook ads, the number one site where people like to BS at. Okay? So these can mm -hmm. get the bookings and yeah, keep the ad going. You're going to get the bookings, especially if you put that FAQ section in there. You're golden right there. You're going to kill it. And don't budge. Don't let nobody talk you into getting on the phone. Don't let nobody talk you into, uh, um, you know, changing anything or any price or any of that. All right? All right. So okay. now, what I wanted to say, though, is you need to get that GMB listing up. That is when people will be calling you. There's nothing more powerful than when somebody says, hey, I'm on your site, man, I'm, I'm liking these packages, I want to do it. But in our case, we're going to be sending them through automations and everything. But still, they came to you, which means they're going to convert. Mm -hmm. I've never, I never went to Walmart or Home Depot and got in there and said, nah, never mind. I've never drove, <laughs> went all the way there. <laughs> so you got to understand that there are steps to making a purchase when a person searches for you it's not like facebook where an ad just pops up in their face and they say "Ooh, that's cool and clicks on it they didn't have to do no work but in order to search you i have to open up another browser deal with slow load times maybe depending on the internet all right then i have to think of the keyword that i want to search i type it in then i gotta wait then i gotta literally go through different sites until i find the offer that i'm looking for then i gotta find my credit card uh, and everything like that and make the damn purchase so it's, it's steps to organic searches versus paid traffic you see what i'm saying so this is why even though in that age where everybody thinks seo is dead i'm the one still out here pumping it because i make a majority the seo pumps all of my paid traffic because i can retarget anybody that comes in organically and those are always hot leads meaning i don't have to warm them up first do a video ad right and then retarget those people <laughs> and do all of that extra stuff. The reason they got to do all of that and be all experts at Facebook is because they're not getting anything organically. Those people aren't warm. They're always cold that they deal with. All right, so this is why you want to do organic and paid in tandem. You hear me? Yeah. So the first thing- I definitely will. That was my goal. Yeah. I messed up because, you know, the first time I did the GMB, um, I had set up an address and all that stuff. And then the address company told me, hey, the, uh, Google stopped doing that. And you're not able to use a- mailing a virtual mailing address in order to do this so i was like no so that's messed that part messed me up then i had to recreate another gmb account blah 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 so anyway I'm but you, can use, you can use um you can use apartments you can use uh p.o boxes out okay so don't do that it might work but it'll go down all right so you can use apartments mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you can use houses and, and and stuff like that just think about this man just like, don't, don't, I don't want you to make it hard. Everybody that's watching, I don't want you guys to make it hard. Anybody who <laughs> comes over your house and mooches off of you, come over your house and ask for a couple dollars, come over your house and uh, fix a damn sandwich like they live there, all of those are networks. Your network yeah. is determined by your network. I don't know if you saw the video where I logged in, showed you all my joint venture partners, interns, and yep. 
I saw it. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what that is. That is me doing what, what America did to the slaves. So, only in a less violent or, or, or cruel way. All right, because I do it mutually beneficial. I'm taking people that aren't really doing anything with their life, don't know anything about business, and I'm splitting business with. So uh, a lot of them, uh, it sparks their entrepreneurial spirit. So I'll take a complete stranger, and they're like, David, most people charge like franchise fees and all of that. F all of that. F all of that. Yeah. I don't like anything stopping me from growing. What if they don't have no, that's uh, right. franchise upfront money? All right. So what I do is I know how powerful it is just to have an address. So I will literally give a person 30 to 50 percent of that listing's profit for their freaking address for the first one or two years <laughs> people are like okay well david if you're giving them that much profit how are you making money why because i'm doing the same thing with a thousand other people we right. gotta we gotta think on a higher level so what i want you to do is don't pay attention to a virtual address or a p.o box or don't think that you don't have connections because you can literally Go into Facebook groups, entrepreneur groups, tell them, hey, I want to do a, a, a joint venture with a, a smart entrepreneur. I'm going to do the marketing, but I need to be able to show up in your city who's with me. And you're going to have a whole load of people that just <laughs> sacrifice their address to you. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? There's a million ways to, to, to get addresses. All right. So I just want y'all to not be hung up on that. And that's how I can scale up so fast. And that's how my organic traffic can come in as fast as the paid traffic. They're like, David, you're doing SEO. How do you get that many? clicks you know per day well that's why i'm able to network like no other but anyway i'm not going to keep you long that's I'm awesome. sure you get your gmb get your gmb and rank that party bus all right and for this go ahead and put that faq section in the chat box and don't let nobody take you off of facebook you hear me okay all right so thank I'm gonna you be, so much you are welcome i'm gonna be available uh, a little bit later so you can text that number or uh email me like you've been doing and I, i'm gonna answer any questions you got because i want you to convert these all right Okay, thank you so You're much. You're at 80 cent. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to.